Hey strangers, it's Liv. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am very excited to film and put this video together. What I'm going to be going over are the differences between Savers and Goodwill, the different memberships, the tag colors, the sales, everything like that. Should you bring a bag? Should you not bring a bag? As much detail as I can give you as possible. A little disclaimer for the video is I did just research like the Chicagoland, Northern Illinois area, Goodwills and Savers. Always research your thrift stores before you go to them. That's how you can get the biggest bang for your buck. As well, you'll know all of the different sales and membership clubs and everything like that. So please do your own research. I will link where I found all of this information in my description box below. But I did just want to throw that disclaimer out there because again, my Illinois Goodwill is different from another one in Illinois that's 40 miles away. So just always do your research, but I wanted to give you guys some outlines of things you can look for, as well as some resources in the description below. So that's a quick intro. Let's go ahead and get started, and I'm going to first break down Savers. So Savers is also known as Value Village. I think they're interchangeable. I'm not entirely sure. I guess I did a lot of research and didn't research that, but I know that Value Village and Savers, it's the same brand and company. The first thing I want to go over is the Super Savers Club. So this is their membership, and I'm going to put details here throughout the video for your reference. For Savers, every dollar you spend equals one point in, in their system. When you get your receipt, it will show how many points you've accumulated in that transaction and then how many total points you have. Points will take about 14 business days to reflect onto your statement because you can make returns with them so they don't want people buying merchandise and then returning it for the points. When you accumulate 100 points, that is a 20% off coupon that you can use. And the thing is you can use it up to a purchase of $100, which would be $20 off, which is re really a huge savings. Some other perks about the Super Savers Clubs is that you get additional sales days and deals sent to your inbox. So. Every Monday, I believe it's 50% off at Savers, which we'll get into in a second. But they have these other promotional days where you can go in pre-sale and get everything for 50% off, minus red tags. We'll get into that again in a second. But it's good to know because for the general public, they will be spending the percentage off and you can go in and say 50% off of the clothes and items of your choosing. So I always make sure that I star those emails when I see them and go in on those super saver days because the members only days, they are less crowded because nobody really knows that they are going on besides if you're a member of their club and you get a better selection because by the time you might get to it on Monday, it might be after work, it might be something like that where you just can't get to it. You'll have a better leg up on all of the sales and items. Another perk for the membership is for your birthday, you get a 20% off coupon on any day that you choose during your birthday month. You do get 20% off a purchase up to $50. So again, if you did spend $50, that's $10 off that you're getting. So always check your email in your birthday month from Savers or Value Village for your coupon. If you're ever unsure how many points you have, you can use our customer service on the website. It may take four to six business days to get back to you, but they will, or you can go to the register and you can ask them how many points you have. They can look up your phone number or email that you have on file and they'll be able to tell you how many points that you have. There aren't any savers or value village apps on the app store that I was able to find. There was one for Goodwill. We will get into that in a little bit and I wish they almost didn't have one. So that is something to note. But overall, that's kind of the outline for the Super Savers. Piggybacking off that, I am going to go through the different sales that they do have that I'm aware of. On their website, I did look and I am going to read from my notes. They have ones for Martin Luther King Day, President's Day, Memorial Day, Veterans Day, then it said etc. So with that, these sale days, it's 50% off minus the red tags. The red tags are their newest items that are in store. So rarely will you see a sale for red tags. And if you do, they may have just gotten to the point where they may have put too many items out that were red tagged and need to get rid of them. But those are more of the designer items that they do have anyway. If you know of a sale day that's coming up where everything is 50% off, again, make sure you check your email because they will have a member's pre-sale day the day before. So again, before the general public can get to all of the merchandise, you can go in on that Sunday before and you can get all of your items for 50% off, again, minus those red tags. More sale days that they do have. They have 30% off on Tuesdays for seniors. And I believe that is 55. It didn't say the age, but I believe it's either 55 or 65. I would check with your local store to see what the cutoff is for that. 
And with all of the sale days and coupons and everything else, you can't combine offers. So if you did go on a 50% off day, you couldn't use your 20% off coupon. When they do have the 50% off days, again, you can't really ever get any red tag merchandise. So you could use your 20% off coupon for the red tag merchandise, but it wouldn't be on any of the yellow, gray, blue, orange, pink ones that you're already getting for 50% off. So the tag color sale of the week, it does change every day. Always check when you walk in, and this really goes for any thrift store. Check to see if there's any deals or sales that go on for that day. But the thing is, they will be posted as soon as you walk in, and usually, and I'll throw some clips in here, it will be as you walk in, when you look up, there'll be a bunch of different colors that will be the color of the day, of the week, however your savers or value village decides to tag their items. So again, as I've mentioned before, the red tags, you can use your coupons on those. You'll rarely see the red tag as the color of the day because those are the more designer items. It's more Champion, Adidas, North Face, um, things like that. They do rotate through colors, so the color of the week could, so they might put out all yellow tags on Monday, all orange tags on Tuesday, pink tags on Thursday, and then they'll just cycle through those colors. I'm not exactly sure if they do all red tags one week, all yellow tags the next week, all orange tags the next week, and then cycle. That's more what Goodwill does, but I know that they do have a rhyme or reason to the different coloring tags that are on there. You just have to total, you just have to be sure when you walk in that you're aware of all of the different tag colors. Normally they're not going to put on sale the newest merchandise that they did release to the floor, but again, it's always good to ask and make sure that your coupon does work on any of those items, especially if you wanna lower the cost. I think that Savers really does have great merchandise to choose from. I do feel like it's better curated than some Goodwill or Salvation Armies that I've seen. The thing is, is Savers is a little bit more expensive as well. So you kind of pay for a more curated look than when you go to Goodwill. They just really put everything that they get out on the floor. The thing is with Shopping Smart and being a member of the Super Savers Club, you can get 50% off most of the items. And if not, you know, you'll get coupons sent to your inbox. So it is really important, again, to check your inbox and sign up for the Super Savers Club. It is 100% free. You will get emails from them, but again, it's to only really save money and support a good cause. So that's kind of my two cents on that. The last thing that I'm going over with the comparison of Savers to Goodwill is the return policy. So right now, Savers has a return policy that's seven days. It needs to have the original tag and receipt, and this is for clothes, accessories, small household items. Those are the only items that you can return within seven days with the original tags and the original receipts. You cannot return furniture, large items, sporting equipment, computers, computer accessories, books, music, videos, or jewelry. So if you do go in, make sure that you are 100% certain that it works and that you want the item because you won't be able to return it. You can redonate it to the store and they will be more than happy to take it as a donation. However, you won't be able to get your money back. The last thing I'm going to add for savers is bring your own bag. This is really everywhere you should be bringing your own bag. It's 2020. We should be eliminating the use of plastic bags altogether. I try my best when I go to the grocery store as well as the thrift store as well as any store to bring a reusable bag. It's good for the environment but also they will charge you if you want to use one of their bags. It's normally like a Trader Joe's bag anyway and you don't want to pay 10 cents for it so just bring your own bag. It's good for the environment. It saves you a little bit of money or you don't even have to bring your own bag and you can carry your items out. They won't fault you for that. But again, it's always great to have a reusable bag. And if you don't have one, you can always thrift one as well. There are plenty of reusable bags. If I say reusable bag one more time, they have plenty of those at the store that you can purchase. They're like a dollar, two dollars. I did thrift one the last time I was there. I have plenty of them, but it was just like a Disney one that was in great condition and it was a dollar. So Always take a look at those as well. If you don't have enough, you can always go to the thrift store and buy them. They're always there for a really great price. That is my rundown on savers and value villages. Again, check your local store hours, everything like that, just to make sure that this information relates to your store. I know it's more apparent in Goodwills that I've done research for that there are a lot of different rules, regulations, clubs, things like that, which we'll get into. But again, that is my wrap up for savers.
The second store that we're going over a, or comparing to Savers is Goodwill. I think Goodwill is probably the most recognizable thrift store name across the United States. It is something that is all over. I feel like there's one in every town at least taking donations in and selling the merchandise. So we will jump right into Goodwill. The Club Goodwill membership program is something that is so different from it could be store to store or region to region. So again, this is pertinent to the Chicagoland area. I do have some information about some like Northern Illinois, Western Illinois Goodwill clubs as well. So I will do my best to try to separate everything, but this is what is most relevant to me and the area that I live. Similar to Savers, for every dollar that you spend, you get a point. Oh, when you accumulate 100 points, you get $5 off of any purchase. So that is really what sets Savers and Goodwill apart, is that you get money towards the store. Additionally, in your birthday month, you can choose one day out of the month, and you can get 25% off at all of the Goodwill locations. Junior and I once went to a bunch of different Goodwills during my birthday month, as well as his birthday month, and we got to do our 25% off. Sometimes they are very particular in wanting to honor that. So we went to one Goodwill, we said it's my birthday month, I'd like to use my 25% off. And then the next one we went to, she was like, no, you've already used it. Well, it's for one day. So sometimes you have to call the manager, but if you are wanting to spend a day out of your whole month to go thrifting, you do want to make sure that you're getting that 25% off. So sometimes they might give you a little bit of a hard time, but it is stated on the website that is for one day. So that is something to just make sure that you are aware of. There are two apps for Goodwill, and honestly, they could do without them. I don't know if they're paying somebody to develop these apps, but they are not great. One of the apps essentially is just a Goodwill locator, which if you go into Google Maps, you can literally type in Goodwill and you'll find them. And then the other one is like Shop Goodwill. So they do have an online store where you can, similar to eBay, bid on items. And if you win, they'll ship it to you. They also have like 99 cent items that you can purchase and they will ship to you. So it's kind of like an eBay without being eBay. And then there are some products on there. And I would rather just use the website because the app, again, the user interface on it is absolutely awful. I wish that they wouldn't have an app. They should just have like a web-based login that you can have, but the apps, there are there was no value for me. I downloaded them on my phone as research for this video, and I was not impressed by them in the least. Sale days for Goodwill. Again, research in your area. This is just for my locations, but I did want to share them with you if you are in the Chicagoland area and want to learn more about the sale days. So, on Tuesdays, there's a 10% military discount. You do have to be a member to get some of these sales, so that is the difference as well. When you sign up for Club Goodwill, it will ask your age, it will ask if you do, if you did serve in the military so you can get that Tuesday discount, and it'll ask you a couple other questions like your birthday and everything like that so you can get the appropriate discount. So that is 10% military discount on Tuesdays, 15% senior discount on Wednesdays, so that is 60 or over. I have used my parents' card if I go to a Goodwill on a Wednesday because I know I'll get that extra 15% off. And then on the 15th of the month, it's called Save More, Spend More. So if you spend $15, you save 15%. If you spend $20, you save 20%. And if you spend $25 or more, you save 25%. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say, but you also, after the 15th of the month, you do get like a scratch off coupon where you can use it for the next two days at any Goodwill. So sometimes you will spend $15, you'll get the 15% off, they'll hand you like a card with a scratch off on it and it could reveal 25% off. You can go back into the store and use it or you can use it at any participating Goodwill in your area for that. Tag colors is the next thing. So they can be found on the website and doing the research, I've been thrifting probably for as long as I can remember and going on the website and finding out the days and colors was absolutely life-changing at least for me so go on their website for your area again and they should have a calendar of all of the different tag colors and days I will put an example here of what I was able to find not that I ever walk into a Goodwill and I'm like oh this yellow tag I need to come back when it's yellow tag day because a lot of the times it's gone they go through inventory very fast for savers and goodwill but it is just kind of nice to know 
when things go on sale. So I never thought that orange tags went on sale for the longest time because it was their newest merchandise. But after checking on the website, I learned that there was a week in March where all orange tags were 50% off. And that's usually their nicer items. So I got like a Jones New York blazer. It was originally $10. I got it for five and I, I never thought that I would be able to get an orange tag item for 50% off. So I would always make sure to check because I'm definitely going to go back when I know it's orange tag week because I feel like those are higher quality items. And if I would have known this like years ago, I could have been just saving all this money without even knowing it. They do rotate colors more heavily than Sabres does, I feel. So they'll have a whole week where they'll put out all blue tags. Then they'll have a whole week where they put out yellow tags, orange tags, and then they rotate, they rotate through those colors. So usually in about like four to five weeks, they're about to put out that new orange color, but they're going to put all of the old orange tags on sale to clear out that inventory to go ahead and put all of the new orange tags out. So again, the, looking at the calendar was really helpful for me. I hope I'm doing a good job explaining it, but having that visual is really important. And again, go on Goodwill, find your region for those sales and mark them on your calendar and get there as fast as you can. Something else to note for Goodwill is, so this is kind of the difference. There is like a Northern Illinois Goodwill region. It's like Huntley, McHenry. I know DeKalb's in there. There's a couple other stores. And one Monday every month, they have what's called a nifty buck 50 sale where all of their clothes under $10, every item is $1.50. I used to go to the one in DeKalb when I went to NIU and it used to be $1.23. So they did up at like 27 cents or whatever. But I used to get clothes and blazers for like school and sweaters and dress clothes and they were all $1.23. So that is really nice about some different areas. When I go thrifting in a new location or a new state, I try to see if there's anything that I can do in terms of signing up for a different Goodwill program or checking their tags or sales just to save a little bit extra money. When I was in Maryland over the summer, I did sign up for like the East Coast Goodwill and I still get texts from them, which is okay. But I know the next time I was out there, I might be saving extra money if I wanted to thrift while I was on vacation. So I always just sign up for membership clubs and that's just like my rule of thumb because you never know the coupon that you're gonna get or the savings that you can get just by signing up. So even if you are in a new area where it might not be local to you, but you might go there a couple times a year. It's just worth signing up for the membership program anyway, because if not, they could have a really good sale that you'll say, yeah, I'll go out and travel and go, you know, spend a couple hours thrifting in a new, in a new area. So that is just my rule of thumb. They do have Goodwill outlets. There's one in Rockford that Junior and I did go to once, and that is a pay by the pound. There's a breakdown. I believe I was able to find it. I will put it here if I was able to find it. But what it is, it's just bins of items that they bring out a new one every like 20 to 30 minutes and you essentially just dig through it. Always bring gloves, always bring hand sanitizers, but it's just a huge room with bins and bins and bins and bins and bins of stuff. It's not organized. It's all thrown into one thing. You really can find some good items in a Goodwill outlet if you have the patience to look for it, but it's a little too intense for me sometimes and I feel like I'm an extreme thrifter, but I do have like an itch to go back. So maybe I will vlog that and bring you guys along on the process. The final thing is I'm actually really happy that I waited to make this video. I was going to make it a couple weeks ago, but the return policy, at least for my Goodwills that I've gone to, has changed. It used to be in-store credit only within seven days, original tags, original receipts. You would never get your money back. They'd give it to you on a gift card. I was at the thrift store over the weekend and there was a sign on the door and throughout the store that said, starting March 30th, they will not be accepting returns and all, mer and all merchandise will be sold as is. When I bought my blazer, they also handed me this as well, which had the exact same information on it. So that is something that really changed for me. I won't shop at Goodwill any less, but there have been times where I'm like, I'll buy it and then I'll return it. Like I bought a lamp and it ended up working out, but if it didn't, I was like, well, it was $20, I will just return it. So just be careful and always check the return policy before you buy anything, really at any store. 
but Goodwill has changed their return policy. It also says, please test all electronics. We have electrical sockets nearby and try on apparel before making a purchase. So buyer beware, that's kind of how it is everywhere, but that is something that is just a recent change, at least for me. So again, always check return policies, sales, tag colors, etc., on the website for your local area for Goodwill or Savers before going anywhere or making any sort of life changing thrifting decisions. Hey guys, I am just popping in very quickly as I was editing the video, I realized that I didn't bring up the bag policy for Goodwill. So if you do bring your own reusable bag, you can save five cents off, which is better than nothing. And so just make sure that you bring that up if they're about to bag your items, say that you have your own reusable bag and they should be taking the five cent off. Some places do, some places don't. I don't know if it's store to store policy or if it's something that is overarching at Goodwill and some of the employees forget, but you can always mention it if you do wanna save that extra five cents. I wanna know your thoughts and comments in the description below. Let me know if you're from a different area, what kind of sales deals, tag colors, promos that your thrift stores have because I would love to research more about it. It's definitely something that I really feel passionate about is thrifting. So you will see more thrifting videos from me definitely in the future. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you like me or want to see more of me in the future, go ahead and hit subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye!